All right, it's a little dark in here, but I have my this old desk sitting next to my window. And so uh, I didn't bother setting up any lights or anything because there's not going to be a lot of a lot of me in the video. It's just going to be a lot of uh, instruction here. But uh, anyways, one thing that I really love about Linux, actually there's many things that I love about it. But one of the greatest things that I like about Linux is that it keeps getting better and better every year. Uh, when I first started using it, it was it was difficult to install. This was, you know, a decade or two ago. Uh, you had to you had to create partitions on your drive. You had to create a boot sector, a boot a partition, uh, one for your swap. Uh, I mean, it was just it was a it was a mess. But it's gotten so easy now that regular users now are starting to use Linux because it's so easy to install and to actually operate. So. Uh, I bought this laptop on eBay for 70 bucks and it's, it's not fast. It's not, you know, the, it's not the biggest thing, but it's, um, it, this is the great thing about Linux too, is that you can install it on these old machines. So it's got windows 10 on it now. So what I need to do is, uh, I don't want L windows 10 because I just don't use any Microsoft products and I don't use any Apple products. So I want to completely wipe this and I want to put, Linux Mint. But actually, that's not true. I'm, I'm not going to wipe it because it has a spinning drive in it. It has a 160 gig hard drive in it. And it's, a, it's an old spinning drive. And so what I want to do is I want to uh, install an SS, SSD drive. Uh, I haven't opened it up. It may be able to take an M.2 NVMe. Uh, either way, it'll be an SSD solid state. So I'm, But first what I want to do is I want to download Linux Mint on here. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now there's one thing that has to happen when you are installing Linux Mint, you have to make a bootable flash drive. So I have a little flash drive, <laughs> I had a little flash drive, uh, and it's a little USB stick. And so I need to make a, a bootable USB stick with Linux on it. So I download the ISO, which is one file, it's an ISO file. And uh, by using another program, I will burn Linux Mint to that flash drive. And then I will shut the computer down, put the flash drive in, and then turn the computer on and make sure that it boots to that flash drive. And then what that'll do, that will allow me to install uh, Linux Mint onto the internal drive. So before I do that, though, once I, I, once I install the uh, Linux Mint on the flash drive, then I'm going to pull this drive out and put a, a new one in. So I won't be overwriting Windows 10 on here because I don't want this drive that's in here. But uh, so let me show you. There's two things we have to download. We have to download Linux Mint and we have to download a program that will allow me to burn Linux Mint onto that flash drive. Okay, now what, every computer is different. So with this one here, uh, when I boot up the machine, it will, I can, it, it'll bring up a screen where I can hit like F8 or F12. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'll, sh I'll show you that screen where if I hit that F8, it'll give me a boot menu and it'll say, where do you want to boot from? And then I will pick the flash drive. Now, if you don't have that option, there's a couple of, there's another thing you can do is you can go into your system's BIOS, right? So when you're, when you first boot your computer up, every computer is different. It'll either be the delete button, uh, F1, F10. You just have to, you know, if you Google your computer, your model, you'll be able to uh, find out exactly how you get into the, the, the BIOS. And, and in the BIOS, you can have a boot order. You can say, I want it to boot from the flash drive, then the internal hard drive, CD-ROM, and, you know, you can pick the different orders. The, the, the key is, is that you need to boot from that flash drive once I create the installer onto it okay now i should also mention that when we create that installer it's going to wipe everything that's on that flash drive so be aware that it will uh it'll just wipe it so you won't be able to get your information off of there so make sure that you either back it up or use a new one or whatever but anyway so let's go ahead and let's start let's go right into windows and let's start installing the linux mint onto the flash drive okay so the first thing we need to do is to download Linux Mint. So we're going to go to linuxmint.com and uh, the current version is 21.1. And then we're going to scroll down and I like the Cinnamon Edition because I just like that desktop. And so when you click on download, it's going to give us all these different mirrors, 
right? Different, and basically that's different locations that we can download this from. Uh, I've already downloaded it. USA, there's a bunch of different mirrors you can just download it from. So click on one of those and download. Now it's a pretty good size file. So it may take a, wh a while if you don't have fast internet. So once I've got that downloaded, now I'm gonna go out to another site and download a program called Unet Bootin. And I'll put the link below in the description so you can just click on the link and go out and download it. Uh, and then I'm gonna, of course, pick Windows because that's what I'm running on right now. So now you have two files that you've downloaded. You have your Linux Mint ISO, and then you have your Unet Bootin program. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, open up my downloads folder and click on Unet Bootin and run that. And when you get your dialog here, you'll notice it says, uh, down at the bottom, it says disk image. Now we've already downloaded it. And so we're going to uh, make sure that our flash drive, the USB drive on the bottom, uh, it says USB drive and it says drive letter, which is E, and that's going to be the flash drive that I just put in. And remember that it'll, it's gonna wipe everything that's on that drive. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, where it says disk image, ISO, I'm going to actually pick my ISO. So I click on that button right there, find my Linux Mint ISO that I downloaded. And then once I double click on that, I'm going to hit OK and make sure, just look and make sure that everything is correct. Your ISO is correct and your uh, correct uh, flash drive is chosen. Then click OK. And then after a few minutes, it's going to do, uh, it's going to actually uh, take the Linux Mint, extract ISO files, onto your flash drive and create a bootable flash drive. And then once it's done, you just click exit. So now you have a bootable flash drive with Linux Mint on it. So remember, this is where it gets kind of sticky. You're gonna to have to figure out with your computer how you can boot from that flash drive. Now my computer here allows me to just pick F8. And once I select F8 while it's booting, it'll give me a uh, selection of, of places that I can boot from, whether it be my hard drive, CD-ROM drive. Uh, this doesn't have a CD-ROM drive, but you, you, you get the picture. It's going to give you all these boot options. And so once I select that boot option, which is going to be my USB stick, I'm going to get a menu like this. Now there's other options here, but we want to bypass those for now. So we're just going to select the very first one, which is Start Linux Mint. And then it's going to boot into Linux. Now, right now you're running off of that flash drive. Now from here, you can go ahead and play with Linux Mint and see if you like it, you know, do different things with it, run some programs and whatnot. It's kind of like a, a, like a trial thing where you can, you know, play with it. But I'm not going to do that. I've, I'm going to go right to install. So I'm going to click on install Linux Mint. And then I'm going to get this welcome screen. And from this welcome screen, all I have to do is I just start selecting uh, my options, this is English, continue, my keyboard layout, which is English, I'm gonna select that. Uh, I'm going to install the uh, multimedia codecs. Yes, I want those installed. And then I click continue. And now here where you get this option here. Now, if you're overwriting Windows, it'll tell you here, it'll say that this, this, com this computer currently has Windows on it or something like that. Do you want to install Linux alongside Windows with a dual boot or do you want to do this and all that? Now, since I don't run Windows at all, if I, had, if I was overwriting my Linux disk, then, or my, if I was overwriting my Windows disk, I would just select this option right here, erase disk and install Linux anyway. So it's really up to you what you want to do. But since I've installed a new drive in this computer, it's saying that there is no uh, operating system detected, which of course is correct. So I'm just going to select erase disk and install Linux Mint, which is every op, it's what I always pick because I always erase every disk and install Linux on it because I don't run uh, Windows at all. So I'm going to hit install now. Remember that if you had Windows on here, it's gone forever. So I'm gonna click install now. And this is telling me the changes it's gonna to make to the disk. It's gonna create these partitions. And then I'm going to click install and then, of course, select my time zone. And then this is where I select uh, my username, the computer name that you want to, you want to make it. You can make it anything. Uh, and then my username would be my login. And since this is just, you know, this, this is just a quick install. I don't care if it's a weak password or not. So then I'm going to click continue. 
and then it's going to go through the install process. Now, this could take 5, 10, 15 minutes. I don't, it depends on how fast your computer is and how fast your hard drive is. So it pretty much it's just going to do its, in, its own thing. It's going to copy the files, uh, and it's going to uh, install Linux Mint. And then when it's all done, you're going to get this dialog that says it's complete. And then I'm going to select Restart Now. And then when you're all done, it'll boot right into Linux Mint. And then here you go. You can start going. Um, and then this is where you start picking options, what you want your colors to be and everything else. But I'll have further videos on that stuff. But for right now, uh, you've installed Linux Mint on this machine and you're ready to go.